Okay, well, uh, first and foremost, uh, thank you all for uh, being here this morning. Uh, I do want to introduce uh, two distinguished guests that we have here today to talk about the CHIP program. Uh, we have Dr. Huang. Uh, doctor, thank you for being here with us. And we have Jared Buster, uh, who's also going to talk a little bit about the impact that CHIP has had. Uh, we're also very honored to have the presence of uh, former First Lady Sandy Miller here with us as well. Uh, thank you, Ms. Miller, for being here with us. Uh, so as you all know, we are here to call on Congress uh, to reauthorize the CHIP program, which is set to expire September 30th. Uh, I think it goes without saying that Nevada, out of most states, is one of the states that benefits the most uh, from having the CHIP program, uh, the Nevada checkup, as we call it here in the state of Nevada. And right now, in my congressional district, 30 per, 30, excuse me, 34 percent of our children in the 4th Congressional District are under the CHIP program, the Nevada Checkup. And over 69,000 children depend on the Nevada Checkup uh, to get their treatment. And I think it goes without saying that Nevada has had a lot of uh, challenges with our health care system. Uh, and it would be detrimental to our state, to our children, to our families, uh, if the CHIP program does not get reauthorized. So we're here with a very simple message. We're urging Congress to reauthorize the program before it ends on September 30th. We have 69,000 kids who depend on this program in Nevada and over 8.9 million Americans who depend on it across the nation. So we're asking Republicans and Democrats to step up your game, to please reauthorize this program because at the end of the day, we're all doing this for our children and for generations to come. So with that being said, I want to introduce Dr. Huang, who's going to talk a little more about the impact that it's going to have here in the state of Nevada. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Betsy Wong. I'm a pediatrician here in Las Vegas, and I'm also the president of the Nevada chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Um, we are a professional medical organization comprised of pediatricians across the entire state. We are also members in, we are chapters in multiple states across the entire country. Um, our mission is to improve the lives of infants, children, and adolescents through our state by improving child health, increased access to care, advocacy efforts, and research support. So we are here today to discuss the importance of the Children's Health Insurance Program, also known as CHIP. As you probably know, CHIP was signed into law in 1997 and provides health coverage to children and working families who are not eligible for Medicaid or lack access to affordable private coverage. All states have expanded children's coverage significantly through their CHIP programs with nearly every state providing coverage to children up to be 200% Currently, 8.9 million children in the U.S. are insured through CHIP. In Nevada, CHIP is operated through Nevada Checkup. In 2016, 68,961 children in Nevada were insured through Nevada Checkup. Additionally, children's health insurance coverage has reached historic levels in the U.S. and Nevada thanks to Medicaid CHIP and Currently, in Nevada, 92% of all children are insured, which is a historic high run. We should be very proud of that. Of course, there is still room for improvement. So CHIP along with Medicaid pre covers preventative services including well child checkups, immunizations, and dental care. Regular checkups include developmental vision and hearing screening. So as, as pediatricians, we know how critically important it is to have timely screening for pickup, developmental delays, and health problems. There is a critical window which can make a maximum impact on child development and help them reach their goals of preventing. Studies do show that children enrolled in Medicaid who miss fewer days of school, do better in school, more likely to graduate from high school and attend college, grow up to be healthier adults, earn a higher wages, and ultimately pay more in taxes. The federal funding authorization for CHIP is currently set to expire on September 30th. Unless Congress approves of an extension, millions of children can lose their health insurance. Loss of medical coverage poses a significant threat to their health and to the plan and their financial well-being. It does add to the stress when the child is sick and parents are scrambling to access as a last resort, children without insurance often face emergency rooms, which leads to longer wait times, higher hospital costs, and poor follow up. Financially, CHIP, along with Medicaid, is cost effective. Children are the least expensive person to insure, yet it can be the longest remedy to help children more than In 2016, children account for 41% of people enrolled in Medicaid, yet they only represent 19% of the nation's CHIP has a long history of strong bipartisan. Every child deserves a chance to grow happy and healthy. 
Director, Jared, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Congressman. As we know, maintaining health care coverage is vital for Nevadans, and even more specifically, Nevadans' children. Since the passage of the Affordable Care Act and the expansion of Medicaid, Nevada saw the largest percent increase of children um, receiving health insurance and being covered. Um, we went from an uninsured rate of 14.9% in 2013 to 7.6% in 2015, a 7% point decrease. But there's still work to be done in Nevada, um, to, as Nevada's children's insurance, insurance rates are still below the national average of 95%. Um, we currently sit at 92.4%. Now is, the not, now is not the time to play politics with health coverage. We need bipartisan support to continue the improvements made through the expansion of Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act. As CHIP stands on the shoulders of Medicaid to provide health care for children who do not qualify for that program and whose families lack access to affordable employer-based uh, or private insurance. Without the reauthorization of CHIP, 69,000 Nevada children are at risk of losing coverage. Without the reauthorization, Nevada is at risk of losing an estimated $63 million annually that it receives from the federal government. For the, furthermore, Nevada is projected to run out of CHIP dollars by the end of the year. And we, as the legislature, when we balance our state budget, uh, we were already projected receiving this type of, these types of funding. Um, so if the program is not funded by September 30th, our state faces uncertainty and we'll need to find a way to make up that gap on our already strained budget. That means making bad choices like raising taxes, um, pulling back on other budget priorities, or cutting kids off of coverage. We are here now today to urge Congress to pass a long-term CHIP funding expansion by September 30th at current funding levels. Key aspects of this bill should include enhanced federal matching, which includes the 23% point CHIP bump, uh, requirements for CHIP for states to maintain eligi eligibility levels and provide uh, prohibit additional barriers to coverage such as new premium or added red tape and to enrollment procedures and to allow for state flexibility to expand coverage to additional children and pregnant women by raising eligibility le levels or adding option optional groups such as all lawfully residing immigrant children. Families should not have to decide whether to put food on their table or to take their children to the doctor. They shouldn't have to choose between making payments uh, for their rent or buying prescriptions for their children so they can be healthy. And as a state, we shouldn't have to decide whether to support children, disabled individuals, or the elderly. And we shouldn't have to reduce funding for other essential programs such as education, mental health, and housing to maintain coverage for our citizens. Thank you.